Hello, hello everyone, it's Daily Space Observations and welcome back to another video. So before I get into the topic of today, if you like astronomy, astrophotography, space news, you know, all that stuff, then you've come to the right place, my friend. So be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload a brand new video. Also, if you want, you can also go follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Link will be in the description if you want to see sneak peeks of upcoming videos. So with that said, let's just jump into it. The Celestron Par Tank Lithium is the best battery for any computerized telescope. It's extremely lightweight and portable, it's very long lasting with up to 10 hours of battery life, and most importantly, it's environment friendly. The only problem is it's not exactly a cash grab. So the question is, is the power tank lithium really worth the extra hundred dollars? Well, let's look at the specs. Apart from the power tank itself, it also comes with four outlet adapters, one for each continent, so no matter where you are, you'll always be able to charge your power tank. It also comes with two plugs, one for charging it and one for plugging it into your telescope. It also comes with a velcro strap to attach it to your telescope's tripod, but eh, I'd rather not talk about it. In my opinion, it's kinda useless. The power tank lithium also has a flashlight. To activate it, press the button with the light bulb icon under it, and it will start shining red. If you want to change the brightness, press the button again. If you want a different colored light, press and hold the button and the red light will change to white. The same brightness change applies. And to turn it off, just press and hold the button once more. To charge your power tank, choose an outlet adapter to slide into the power block of the charger. Then push the little button on it that says push to secure it into the power block. You should hear a little snap coming from the adapter, so that should indicate it's in there. Then just plug it into your wall, take the other end and plug it into your power tank and it's charging. To power your telescope with the power tank, press and hold the button on the power tank with the battery icon above it until any of the lights are flashing blue. Then just plug the telescope cable into the power tank and plug the other end into your telescope's mount. Your power tank can also charge your phone. To do this, plug your phone into the power tank, then press and hold the button with the battery icon above it until all four lights on the power tank turn green. Then your phone should indicate that it's charging. In conclusion, I think the Celestron Power Tank Lithium is a great battery, but the thing is, if you don't travel too much, I don't think it's that necessary to have one since it's $100 more than the original power tank, which is a lot heavier and bulkier. So if you're an astronomer who travels a lot, I suggest you do buy this. It's very light and portable, as I mentioned in the beginning. If you're just a stay at home kind of guy, then you should probably stick with its counterpart. 